Here's a little garden tip. From our garden to yours. Some of my house plants aren't doing very well, so I need to pick some new ones. Tom is here to help me choose the very best ones for my house. Tom, number that's, a, one. that's the number one plant? Number one, at least it has time. been in the past, the African vol. Look at that, beautiful. Well, you know, what other plant flowers so well in the home with so many blossoms at any one time, easy to start, and my guess is still one of the top favorites anyway. I do like African violets. Is it true that you should water them from the bottom? You know, I, I don't think it makes a whole lot of difference, but you can do it either way. But I've heard if you water them from the top, then you keep the salts from building up around the top. You ever see that little oh, white yeah, layer I around have, there? I have, or at I least have. every once in a while, flush them out. Now you've got one of my favorites right there. And this is not one of my favorites because it just isn't that pretty to me. But, but it's tough and durable, Celeste. Now you, know, you said you had the problem. Your plants weren't doing well. That's this true. is one that's going to work out real well. Now what kind of light does this need in your house? It could take very low light. I mean, mm -hmm. you can all, I hate to say it, you could almost put it in a corner, but mm -hmm. I would rather not do that. Uh, but it can get dust on it. You can go into houses and see them like that. It's, it's, San, it's just amazing. San Severa. San snake plant, mother-in-law's tongue. Yeah, now that's this nice one's thing. a little more like what I would like. Yes, yeah, a little fig there. Isn't that Variegated. Neat? It is so pretty. I love the cr crinky, curly leaves. And this, how about light on this one? Yeah, medium light. You start to get a little brighter. It's not definitely a low light plant, but medium to high light. It, make a nice tabletop plant. You know, for a small mm -hmm. table, just don't forget to put the saucer underneath it. Yeah. <laughs> I, Tom, I made that mistake, let me tell you. Tell me just about a little bit about the light, though. What is really medium light in a home? You know, I would say somewhere around three to four feet back from a bright window. Mm -hmm. High lights right up at the window. Low lights a, back six feet or A south more. window or yeah, any south window? window. Nice southeast bright west. window to start off because with. I think people, that's a big mistake people it make, is. is getting the right light. Yeah, and you know, the big mistake they make is not realizing how much light they have, and they go out and just buy any plant and try to find a spot for it. It. Like that Fetonia, mm -hmm. medium light. Isn't that a beauty? That is pretty, and it, it, it looks softer than it feels. It's sort of thick leaves. and. Yeah, here's another one right here. I love this one here. And that, I didn't even forget the name on that one there. It's called Frankie. Frankie. Oh. You know, I've seen this plant in the understory in, in the woods. Have you really? Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's tough and durable. It is. I, I just like all one. these here. Here's a little ponytail. It, it, you know, it's really probably too many of them in a pot if you want to grow it on, because we have one in our landscape that's probably about 12 feet tall. Uh, but you could separate these out if you want to, or just grow it like this for a little while. It's one of the first plants I ever got, and now the, the base of it is like this this big, it's I know. huge. I haven't planted it out in you the ground. You see, you did not kill that plant after all. That's true. The, That's true. The I'm surprised it's cold. This is a good plant, but what kind of light is it like? Well, medium light and warm conditions. I mean, you can freeze this plant out very easily. Keep it. It's finicky. You, you doesn't want the low light. Wants medium light and doesn't want direct sun. You know, yeah. if it gets direct sun, it burns the foliage. Finicky is probably not going to be yeah. good for me. <laughs> How about a fern? I, I think I like ferns fern. are kind of finicky too. Yeah. And, and I like this one here, but higher humidities would be nice. Where do people put the ferns in most cases? Out on a windy porch. Mm -hmm. and it's not the best spot yeah, for them. They need the humidity oh, also. Kind of Tell you what, so, I'm going to get a whole tray. We're going to move this up okay. to the front here because we're going to make going to me plant, work again. Well, not, not too hard, but I've got a whole <laughs> tray of more foliage plants that I thought we Ooh. might just plant in here. There's some other good ones yep. too. Yep. Oh, right away, I'm attracted to this one. Oh, yeah, Calathea. That's a neat one. Let me put this in the okay. middle first. This happens to be a Chefalaris, that little dwarf Chefalaris, a nice loose potting soil. This bowl, by the way, does not have drainage out of the bottom of it, which is okay. It's got a plastic liner in here, as you can see, and you just have to water it carefully when you do. We'll mm -hmm. Put that right in the center. There we now, go. Now, do we have to match these up with the light levels? Uh, you, you like to. All these here are pretty much medium light plants, mm -hmm. so medium to medium. low, which is okay. Okay. Yep. So, so I'm going to put this one so it will cascade over the edge. Okay, that's kind of okay. nice. I like to have things cascading over the edge. Okay, and this one is a philodendron. Satin leaf philodendron. Satin leaf philodendron. Mm -hmm. The texture of it is so unusual. I know. It's kind of neat just going over the side there. Mm -hmm. Whenever you have a bowl like this, it's nice to have mm -hmm. something creeping down the side. Yes. And covering up the edge, even Those though the bowl pretty. is... It's very pretty, mm -hmm. of course. How about, I'm going to do another one, but I'll put it on this side. I'll move the bowl around a little okay. bit, a little ivy. I like to try to bring out the color patterns that you have here on some of the plants, the, the yellows and, and the whites. There we go. We've got two more spots, huh? Two more spots, and we're almost out of time, so let's quickly put these the in. Calathea. The calathea in. Yep. 
Whoops, go ahead. Go ahead, okay. Mm -hmm. And I've got a red leaf Fittonia right over there. Oh, Tom, oh, that is wow. beautiful. That Just beautiful? lovely, really hey, fun. That's not bad for an amateur, right? Not bad at Amateurs. all. Amateurs, yeah. There Tom, you go. thanks so much for helping me with the house, selecting some new house plants from our yard. And if you want to have good luck with house plants, make sure you match them to the light level in your home.